Hello, today I'm making a tutorial on how to make an ISO disk. I'll leave what you need in the description. So, after you've got the ISO image downloaded, I'm using World at War, so I'll open that folder. You'll have all seven parts. What you want to do, you'll need WinRAR for this. You want to extract files, find an empty folder. I've just created one called Folder 2. You want to click OK, and it'll extract all the seven parts into one image. This will take approximately about 10 minutes to do so after this is done then I'll be back okay so that is done and now I am back if I open this folder right now there will be two files here one will be the one KB file and one will be the image file so what you want to do is open up this program here and you want to set your settings to what mine are right here set to 3 all these on and make sure this is on level 3 then you want to open your file which will be in folder 2 for me and all this does is you want to launch it, all this does is stealth patch it and make sure it's alright to use you should get all this green stuff and be saying percent done when that gets to 100 it'll be done like so it can take up to 3 minutes not too long like so I'll restart the video when that is done ok so that is about to be done ok so you should get all this basic stuff check past if any of it comes up red then you've got a bad ISO image so you'll need to find another one and download it just close that off now you wanna open up this program here WX360 what you wanna do now is click open and find where you've saved your file um, okay open you'll get all these here you just go down a little bit to the common FF and stuff because I'm using motion flex v1 edited I don't need to do a check or anything so before you do any of this you wanna go down down to default and you wanna extract file to your desktop the reason for this is that when you replace the other ones it changes the default as well and makes it corrupt so what you wanna do is replace the common post now common post gfx alright just find where you've got your mods modded files should I say and I can't find it I like so ok just click open and it should replace that one then you want to go to the common FF and do the exact same ok so now what you want to do is the default XX you want to replace that with the one on your desktop there which will be done then you can just exit out of that now you want to open back up this then you want to open up that file once again open then click launch this time it should be different 
I'll show you why after it's done. So be back in a minute or so. Okay, I am back, and now you should get something that pops up red this time. Okay, it's the game partition CRC does not match the verified any. This is supposed to come up because you changed the files earlier on, so this is good. You don't need to do anything again. This is what it's supposed to do. And you can just close out of that. Now you're ready to burn it to a image burn to a disk. So just open image burn up. You want to go to settings. And you just want to go to right. And all you want to do is make sure these are all ticked like this. You don't need to change anything else on this, this is all you have to do. Then you want to go to user specified, then you want to put this break in, because every dual layer, this needs a break. Then you want to just click OK. Then you want to click right image to file to disk. You want to find your file. It is very important that you click the one kilobyte file, because this is the file that finds this file and tells image burner what to do you want to open that you, you if you want to click verify then that'll just verify making sure it's an alright copy uh, then you want to set write speed to 2.4 then you want to just put your disk in and click burn and then after that you, all you have to do is hot swap your Xbox then you've got your disk Thanks for watching, comment, rate and subscribe.